All righty, gang, let's get this started. Let's hop on the train, toot toot. It's, uh, it's April 8th. It's time for Watcher Weekly. Oh wow, it's April 8th, that's crazy. Can you believe it? Time's flying by. Well, also, there's no way to tell the days apart now, so. It's true. <laughs> it's like, well, that is very true. <laughs> what day is today, Ryan? It's okay. April 8th. I'm doing the intro right now, Shane. Sorry, you were laughing like a maniac, so That's also true, your I connection was. keeps cutting out because you have shitty internet. That's true, I do have shitty internet. Welcome to Watch Your Weekly, presented by Breather, a show where we kick back, chat, and answer your guys' questions to the best of our little abilities. Uh, as always, if you'd like to submit questions for this show, you can reach out to us. So we are Watcher, we are Watcher, we are Watcher, youtube.com slash Watcher, patreon.com slash Watcher. Here we are. I actually changed locations for this episode. Now I'm Me over too. by my desk. Oh. I'm not in the kitchen. Well, I went up to you. I went to a completely different house. Whoa. Wow. Am I the only cornerstone of this show right now? Am I holding the fort down in my kitchen? Brought yeah, to I think you Watcher are. Entertainment. You don't have a lot of options, though. You, you, I mean, your kitchen is sort of the focal point of your naturally <laughs> the focal That's right. point uh, of yeah. your I mean, abode. My yeah. bed's in there. And your life. I brush my teeth with this water dispenser right here. Oh. I cook over Wait, there. Wait, That's say not that how you, you do you, that. You go to your fridge dispenser for your 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 toothbrush and water. That's right. That seems incredibly inefficient and like a waste of time. Why 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 do you do that? Now why do you do that? We're just you're not we're drinking just having the water. Fun here, Ryan. We're just having jokes, you know. This is what we're here for. We're here for jokes. Uh, what that's do you true. Do with the oven, Steven. Tell us your funny bits about yeah, the oven. Oh yeah, this is where the, the babies are made. I, I put them. What? In the <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> You know, like the baby's in the oven. Yeah, a bun in the oven, Cooking? not a baby in the oven. Nobody says there's oh, a baby in wait. the oven. They don't say that? Steven, do you actually brush your teeth with that water? Ryan, wouldn't you agree that Steven's a fancy little boy? Okay. I would agree that Steven is a fancy little man. Oh, yes, I'm a, sorry. I didn't mean I'll to- I'll upgrade uh, him to man. But yeah, I would fancy, agree that a fancy it's scant to brush his teeth with sparkling Perrier water. That okay, in all seriousness, good. how am I actually fancy? Tell me. Please, Ryan. How are you fancy? How, I mean, yeah. I mean, I could go on and on. I mean, you have a fancy little food show. All of your shows are fancy looking. You only eat the fanciest foods. You brush your teeth apparently with the fanciest water. I assume I mean, you sleep on the fanciest linens. Out of the three of us, only one of us drives a Tesla. <laughs> That's true, and you do oh, no. drive a Tesla. You got a fancy little fancy yeah. man uh, car. Excuse me for <laughs> reducing carbon emissions. There's nothing wrong with having nice things, but no. you gotta own the moniker of being a fancy little man if you have fancy little things. You know what, whatever. I'm fancy, you wanna screw it. I'm, fa <laughs> I'm fancy, <laughs> hell man. What else, uh, how's your guys' quarantines going? Uh, it's pretty good. I don't know why I'm yelling like you're hard of hearing. How are you guys doing? Okay, I don't wanna belabor this too much, but where are we on the screen, real quick? Oh. Just assign um, seats. I'll be, uh, you know what, I'll be in the middle this week. Nice. Okay. I'll be in Same. the chair. Okay, you'll be I, over there. I'm just gonna be wherever I am, because uh, well, I'm not gonna well, commit to no, looking back and forth. No, say where you'll be. I want you to figure that out. Uh, I'm gonna be in the bedroom. No. Why are you so Trash content king. Yeah, uh, push him. Uh, 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 uh. There yeah, you go. You can't do it. You just, can't move my frame because I'm too strong. You can't move frame. my frame. I'm too strong. I'm keeping my frame on the screen. Right, Steven. Feels good. Hey, Shane. Okay, I'll bring him back. I was already on screen. I was already on screen. I was already on he screen. He wasn't, though. Wait, I think before we go into the Q zone and put on our special little hats, we have some important announcements because obviously there's a lot going on right now. It's uh, quarantine time. We're kicking out a bunch of new exciting things to, you know, ease into it. First announcement is, uh, you guys may have noticed, we have a new schedule for our content. You could see it with our lovely new YouTube banner as well as our Twitter banner, and we have a new Facebook banner. Anyways, the announcement is we have a new content schedule. We have three pieces of content coming at you per week. One on Wednesday, which will be Watcher Weekly, the show you're watching right now. That's right, Wet Wednesdays are going to continue. Wednesday exclusive <laughs> Again, time. okay, thank you for clarifying. You can't and, just say Wet Wednesdays. Why can't I say Wet Wednesdays? It's time to get uh, To recap, Wednesday is Watcher Weekly. Uh, Friday is our new shows, and by new shows I mean stuff like Homemade, uh, Spooky Small Talk, Puppet History, etc., etc. Sunday will be 
social distancing, and Dungeons and Dragons. That's three pieces of content coming your way Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, all of them uploading at 10 a.m. Pacific time for your viewing pleasure. That's, that's a lot the, of content. <laughs> it is. Also, uh, an announcement for Watcher Weekly when it comes to submitting all of our fun intros that are user submitted from people like you guys. Uh, you could go to this link right here. It's bit.ly slash Watcher Weekly intro to submit all of your intro videos. You go to that page, you fill out a form that allows us to use the intro, and then you drop your video in there, and then voila. Whoa, Shane just dropped the hat. What's about to happen I dropped right the now? Hat. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling crazy. Whoa. It's as easy as that. Moving on, we also have, boy oh boy, it's a, a rich time of content because we've been dropping some podcasts lately. Uh, we've got a few, and I'll start off by mentioning, as we mentioned in a previous week, that Watcher Weekly is now available in audio form on all your favorite podcast uh, services. You can go to bit.ly slash watcherweeklypod. Uh, that's got a nice little landing page where you can go to Spotify, iTunes, etc., and listen to this. Maybe you're out there driving um, for fun. You're not driving to work. <laughs> that's a perfect time to listen to Watcher Weekly with your ears and not watch it with your eyes. Shane, I don't want to interrupt you, but you did say what? iTunes when it's actually, I believe, Apple Podcasts. iTunes was like five or so years ago. Do they not use that anymore? I've used Spotify for like the past five to seven years and haven't touched anything Apple since then. So. Next podcast, we have my podcast, which you can check out uh, if you see the sign right here. It says subscribe to Hidden Narratives Podcast. It is on Apple, Spotify, and you can go to bit.ly slash hidden dash narratives dash podcast to go subscribe. And I do want to take a moment to get a bit somber and a bit more serious. So I'm going to just channel that energy Okay, I'll stop dancing. Because I'm wearing a shirt that's, that is a campaign I'm a part of called Hate is a Virus. And we have seen that there has been an increase in cases of incidents for racism against Asian Americans due to the coronavirus. And it's been really heartbreaking. So this past week, I actually interviewed my friend who is the CEO and founder of an Asian American publication, and they have tallied a ton of different cases uh, of Asians facing racism. So we talk about that on the podcast and how you can help and how you can be a part of the solution and not the problem. So please check it out. And last but not least, we have Here's What You Do, which is our first, I guess, official Watcher podcast in that it features all three of us, and it's us sitting down for an advice podcast we take questions from you guys about uh, like life problems, like uh, how do I tell the person I have a crush uh, that I have a crush on them? Um, and then we give advice from our three different viewpoints. That's a new podcast that will be coming out at a date TBD. We're trying to get you guys as much content to consume as we can right now because it is a tough time where we all have to stay cooped up indoors. So if you want to submit questions to that uh, advice podcast, you can uh, send them to hwydpod at gmail.com or you can submit them on Patreon. And also a quick note on that, if you want to remain anonymous while submitting your questions, sometimes the questions that you may submit may be a bit more uh, sensitive you could do so by just saying so in the email and we'll replace your real name with a name we make up. Moving on, if you missed it uh, last week or the week before, uh, there's a new series on Sundays called Social Distancing and Dungeons and Dragons in which the whole Watcher gang, or most of us, including Katie LeBlanc, our head of development, uh, we play a rousing campaign of Dungeons and Dragons from the safety of our own home. Uh, it's incredibly fun. You guys are doing great, I would say. And every Sunday at 10 a.m. will be a new episode of that. We've also and gotten a ton of fun fan art from, from that. Here's some now. This oh, is after just the first it, but... episode. That's amazing. I know, it's crazy. One last exciting announcement. <laughs> Woo, can't wait. <laughs> uh, we, do have some, we do have a lot of merch that you can buy at watcherstore.com. I have been the champion of plugging our merch in the past few Watch Weekly episodes, which is why I have been tasked to tell you that uh, unfortunately for now, because of the coronavirus, a lot of our manufacturing has been delayed indefinitely. We apologize. You will still get it. It's just gonna take a while. Well, with all that out of the way, I think maybe it's time to put on our question hats? I think so. I already got a hat on and it could function as a question hat, so let's do it. I don't have a hat. I'm oh, my foot's asleep. How, this oh. is the, how many times are we gonna do that? You gotta have a hat ready. Let's move to the first one here. Let's go to YouTube. I'm not sure what the context of this is when it says, Juliana uh, Pangillan says, 
Ryan, are you sure you weren't lying when you said you weren't going insane at all? I'm not going insane. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody's going insane. What are you? <laughs> moving, moving to the next question, though. I don't know what you're talking about. Did I miss it? I, I got my hat. Wait. Oh, Steven, that's wonderful. What in the world? This is good. Oh my We're God. doing. I got a good one from Instagram. Um, here's how. Uh, uh, I got a good one. This is from Surprised Sam. They said, what movies have y'all been watching to stay sane? Have you guys been watching a lot of movies on your quarantines? I have uh, not. Not as much movies as I have been TV. I've been watching a lot of TV, sure. catching up on Succession, you know. Uh, sure. Of course, I've caught up on every single piece of Watcher content. Yeah. Then, uh, mm -hmm. I might watch some, some David Fincher films. I might watch Social Network, which is now on Netflix. Uh, you watched you know? Gone Girl recently? It's good. Holds really up. Good. Can I share the TV show I've been watching that I'm very ashamed yes, of? Yes, please. It's very, I'm very ashamed of watching this show, but it's called Love is Blind. Oh, oh I've heard good things. Have you heard of this show? Yeah, Mari's watching that. Isn't well, I mean, it weirdly relevant right now, too, because everyone's like dating from isolation? Yeah, I guess so, huh? I don't know. It's a terrible show. I mean, don't watch it, but do watch it. You know what I love about that show, though? The Hamiltons who came what? out of that? They are a huh. great couple, and I want them on Watcher. Not necessarily all reality television shows just garbage. It has some value. Do you know the premise? If you're entertained by it, no, I actually don't. Let, let me let me uh, let me tell you the I premise don't watch real that quick. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the premise: You okay. date somebody through a wall. You can't see them, and the only way that you meet is if you propose to each other. Yeah, that sounds baller. That's crazy. In lieu of movies, I've been playing a lot of Skyrim which is a game from 2011, mm. but I've never actually finished it. I've started the game like eight different times and I think I've mm. bought it on several platforms now. It's on Switch, it's on PS4, it's on PC. Nerd. Having a blast. <laughs> oh, he got me. <laughs> what are you, what are you, 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 you you're riding dragons? <laughs> actually, yes. Yes, yeah, I That know. sounds cool. That sounds actually pretty cool. Um, I've been playing Call of yeah. Duty. Oh. oh, cool, dude. Super dope. I've been playing right poker. Now. You've been what? playing poker? Like yeah. online high stakes poker. Yeah, poker with my friends. Yeah. Whoa, cool. That actually sounds pretty fun. You know, you want in, Ryan? <laughs> I do want a real, in. Uh, Steven's a real Toby Maguire over here. Uh, okay, let's go to Wizarding Wheezes from Patreon. They ask, "What are you the most upset about being canceled?" I'm guessing, like, what are you most upset about losing during this time of quarantine? Which is very necessary, by the way. This is not me being like, "Ooh, quarantine sucks." But if we're gonna mm -hmm. get into this mindset, what is something that I truly miss? Disneyland. Sure. Disneyland. Yeah, I go to good Disneyland one. maybe twice a month. I have an annual pass. I'm an annual pass member. got good member. popcorn Don't over mean there. To brag. Yeah, I've been watching Disneyland walkthroughs on uh, YouTube. In fact, I made a TikTok about this because it's something I do to keep myself happy. There's a guy <laughs> and he just walks around Disneyland, just one, just one, one video, uh, and it's just him walking through the different lands of Disneyland so you could experience the, uh, the ambience is, as if you were there. That's and fun. That's it's fun. Beautiful. surprisingly wholesome. My answer is I, I just miss parks and beaches and basketball and, you know, just nature. You know, uh, based on what I do to you on the basketball court, I didn't think you'd be missing that if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I actually take joy in losing. Is that, is that weird? <laughs> Knowing that there are other people who are better than me at stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, because yeah, it, sure. it, it represents potential to get better? Exactly. Yeah. Like ability to improve and grow. Yeah. You know what? I respect that. I don't ever want to be the best at, at anything in a room. I want to be uh, able to look at the room and be aspirational. If you're the best at something, it gets a little boring. And frankly, oh. as the best player on the court, I usually do get a little bored out there. <laughs> you, know, you get bored when you're playing, Steven. <laughs> so boring. Shane, why are you roasting me threes, in baby? Bas <laughs> basketball? You don't even play basketball at all. You don't even know anything about basketball. Yeah, why hoops. is this your roast? Hoops. Uh, hoops. Next question. I got a question. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, I didn't say what I missed. Change? Yeah, sorry. I missed the movie theaters. Oh, Ryan and I yeah. were talking about this, and we may be cooking on a little project to address this. More on that in a bit. Oh, man. All right, I question hat, next question. <laughs> sure. This one comes from Patreon from the Diplo Chachas. The Diplo Chachas. Oh, I haven't heard of that. I haven't heard from them in a while. Oh. Yeah. If you're not familiar, the Diplococcus is an old foe of us uh, stretching back all the way to some of our early live streams before we actually launched as a channel. 
On my way back into the world of the living and engaging with human beings again, if you could choose to isolate yourself in any place, where would it be? Bear in mind that you would not be able to have anyone with you, which could be a bonus smiley face. Oh, uh, ah. I think, well, we didn't answer this specific, but last week we talked about where we would spend two weeks. I alone, believe I missed so out on this one. Let's just answer it real quick though. I would have to say, yeah, Disneyland, if I was the only person there, but if I had to pick a specific place in Disneyland. Oh, that's tough. I guess it could be inside the Haunted Mansion. That could be a little spooky though. <clears throat> this one's hard because I really like technology and so I wouldn't, I would want to go to like the woods, but honestly, no, not the woods, like somewhere cool, like Singapore mm. Airport. Oh, that's fun. I love airports. You know what? It would be on the Mark Twain, the Mark Twain in Disneyland. The rivers of oh. America. And you're the only one on there? You're like a little- And I'm captain. the only you little, one. I'm... You have a little corn cob pipe? Oh yeah, I I, I have the whole getup on, and I have some I like popcorn. To hear that. Mickey's on the shore being like, you're not supposed to bring that popcorn to feed onto the boat. And you can be and like, I'll be like well, I guess hey. you'll have to swim over here. Well, that's it for questions. I hope you've had a fun time. As always, we will be answering more of these on our Patreon exclusive version of this show over on patreon.com slash watcher. So feel free to hop over there. Uh, next, we've got a fun little segment we're gonna play today. This is a little game that we call superlatives. And basically we're going to say a most likely statement. Uh, this is not one of the statements, at least I don't think it is. But for example, if I were to say most likely to rob a bank and we'll count to three and at three, all of us will hold up the name of the person of the three of us that we think is most likely to do that thing. And it's just a fun way to see what we think of each other. I've got a good one to start as I think a great example. Okay. Great, great, let's do it. And we've all got our little cards ready, right? Oh, I got yes, my cards yes, yes, in yes. my hand. Most likely to break their neck doing a keg stand with the dirty boys. Okay, that seems <laughs> pretty targeted. But uh, on three, we all hold it up. One, two, Three. It's Ryan. All right, I got one. Next. Most likely to be convicted of a crime they did not do. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Shane, I Steven. Go, Steven. Wow, Ryan and I are simpatico on this one. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move right. my computer actually. Explain yourself. My logic here my logic here is that Ryan and I know enough about crimes at this point that we wouldn't probably make as many mistakes as you or... No, but I didn't Steve, commit the crime. Oh, you didn't no, commit here's... the crime. I yeah. still see you getting wrapped up in something like this and mm. just being yeah. like, oh, it wasn't me, and then straight up just getting the, the chair. Steven's the guy at the beginning of like the true crime show where he's like out walking, I guess he has a cat, he's out walking and his cat and he, he, he comes across like a dead body of some sort and he goes, oof, better report this. Yeah. But then when he's reporting it, he's like checking the pulse of the dead body, putting his fingerprints all over it. Um, and Frankly, he's, uh, it, mm -hmm. like I would say this is a compliment. Yeah. I think this you know, is a compliment because like, it means he's like a nice guy. No, yeah. I, I, I think it's Shane because of uh, one word. What's that? TikTok. Next question. What? Big top? Like the circus? No, TikTok. TikTok. Oh, TikTok, because I'm the king? You've incriminalized yourself on that platform as the king, quote unquote, king yeah. of TikTok. That's you know? right. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't. Take down the to, king. For the record, I did not thrust that title upon myself. Most likely to cut in line at a theme park. Oh, oh I got this okay. one. Yeah, for sure. Got it, got it, got it. Three. You guys ready? Two. two one. Steven. I'm going Ryan. Ryan. Here's the thing. It's Ryan. You would, you would think it's me, but I would never do that because there is a sanctity to theme park uh, behavior and- You know what? Uh, and, uh, You're you right, know, and I changed my answer. You're right. Yeah, it's yeah, me. yeah, no, but at the same time, I am also considering this like, um, like if one of the employees there was like, oh, Ryan, I believe in ghosts too. Do you want to get up? Do you want to skip the line and ride this little ride? You would for sure say, "Oh hell yeah, dude! I could be down for that." But that's not the di that's not cutting in line. That's being invited I mean, in to the front of the you ride. Cut a bunch of people in line. Cutting in, by cutting in line, I mean like sneaking in and like figuring out a way to get into the middle of the line. In that case, I feel like Steven would do that. It's probably. I do not like. I do not I'm like sticking, breaking I'm the rules. I'm sticking with Ryan on this one. Okay, oh, I got a good one here. Um, most likely to pull off a fully shaved head, including eyebrows. Oh, easy. Oh, 
Oh, this is tough. actually tricky. But, and, and I'm gonna Photoshop these so we have examples. Three, two, one. I changed it last second. It's me. I put I went with I went with me. Only because the sheer spectacle of seeing how large his head is, even without hair, is something that I'd like to see. So Yeah, I feel uh, like people would be like, holy shit! It's the Goodyear blimp. I disagree But in a good way, they'd be like, holy shit, dude, look at that fucking head! But you wouldn't pull it off. That's that's the whole point. You would not pull it off. No, no, no. They'd love it. It would be like a parade float. Everyone would cheer. Oh, yeah. All right, I got the next one. Okay, but real this... quick, I'm going to throw it to a, the graphical representation of Ooh. that so people can appreciate it. I'm sure that was wonderful. All right, Steven. Most likely to leave Watcher first. Oh, oh. my God, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I know this. I know this one. Oh shit. Three, yeah. two, yeah. Mm. one. Ryan and Shane. I put me. I put Steven. The reason why I put me is I can't accuse either of you <laughs> of wanting to leave first. No. I put I, Ryan and Shane because ever heard of this show called, uh, this little show called SWAT? That is yes. true, well, we look, are. They come knocking. I will say that's not even our best known acting work. Our best known acting work is on a little show called BuzzFeed Unsolved. I play the character, actually I play the same character here. It's the character of Ryan Bergara. Yes, um, these are actually time. our most successful characters. Exactly. Um, um, my real name is Brian Cramblish, as most people already know. Um, and I am Brad Pistachio Thespian. Shane, why did you say me? I don't know, I feel like if someone came along and was like, hey, you wanna open a restaurant? You'd be like, sounds like a lot of work. And then is there any gold? you'd do it and you'd be like, Ah, the restaurant game, it's my favorite game. And you can't, you, you know, you can't be like, welcome to Steve's Chow, presented by Watcher, unless you could, I don't know, does that work? Here's the thing, Shane, here's how you, you get Steve in to, to leave. You go, hey Steve, you wanna open a restaurant with us? And he goes, I don't know, guys. And you go, I'll tell you what, you get a reserved parking spot for your Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> he can't resist that, can he? See? Steven's gonna have a restaurant, it's a drive-thru, but you can only drive up in a Tesla. Otherwise, <laughs> I officially you. hate this episode completely. Can we just cancel the entire episode and reshoot the whole thing? No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> here's the last, here's the last superlative here. I think we've got time okay. for one more. Okay. All right. uh, this one's fun. Most likely to befriend a demon. Um. Mm. I'm going with the answer that's not obvious, but true. Three, two, one. Shh. Ryan. I put I Shane. With, I went with me. Look, it's we've canon. all heard the funny, funny uh, stories slash rumors about me being a demon. Mm. And I'd like to address those and say, oh, that's simply not true. You have Very to understand convincing. I am an actor. And you know what? They, they wrote interesting storylines for Shane McGay. Yes. If my script says rock and roll buckaroo, I will lay down on the pentagram and say rock and roll buckaroo. That is my job as Brad Pistachio. That's uh, You know, I've hung out with Ryan quite a bunch. Uh, whenever we're out in public, you just wanna like talk to every stranger and befriend them. That's true, that's Ryan's why, a very friendly of guy. Of all the people here, like you're the one who's gonna just like walk up to a demon possibly and become friends with them without even knowing. So you, uh, you look like you're from out of town. Where'd you get those horns on your head? <laughs> While that is true, and I will acknowledge that as like a possibility, I think Shane has a more devious mind and would have more fun with the demon. They, would, they wouldn't do uh, harmful things, but they would do mischievous things, I would say. Honestly, I think they would respect my hustle, uh, yeah. if anything. Like a demon would probably be more likely to befriend me over you two. Mm, okay, well, you know what? Yeah. Uh, now you made it a personal thing. Now I'm gonna make that demon my friend. It's, it's gonna be Whatever, I don't give a shit. My demon. I think that does it for this episode. Very fun, guys. I had a good time here. It was good stuff. It was good stuff. You know, as always, uh, keep your eyes peeled for a great episode of Puppet History this week. Then we got D&D &D on Sunday. And we'll see you next week, I guess. Stay safe the out movies. there. Wash your hands. Bye. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs>